Locative is a grammatical case which indicates a location. It corresponds vaguely to the English prepositions in, on, at, and, by. The locative case belongs to the general local cases together with the lative and separative case. The locative case exists in many language groups. Indo-European languages. The Proto-Indo-European language had a locative case expressing place where an adverbial function. The endings are reconstructed as follows. In most later Indo-European languages, the locative case merged into other cases in formen or function, but some daughter languages retained it as a distinct case. It is found in modern Balto-Slavic languages except Bulgarian and Macedonian. Some classical Indo-European languages, particularly Sanskrit and Old Latin, uncommon, archaic or literary use in certain modern Indian languages. Latin Old Latin still had a functioning locative singular, which descended from the Proto-Indo-European form. The locative plural was already identical to the dative and ablative plural. In Classical Latin, changes to the Old Latin diphthongs caused the originally distinctive ending of the locative singular to become indistinguishable from the endings of some other cases. Because the locative was already identical to the ablative in the plural, the loss of distinction between the endings eventually caused the functions of the locative case to be absorbed by the ablative in classical Latin. The original locative singular or ending, descended from the Old Latin form, remained in use for a few words. For first and second declension, it was identical to the genitive singular form. In archaic times, the locative singular of third declension nouns was still interchangeable between ablative and dative forms, but in the Augustan period the use of the ablative form became fixed. Therefore, both forms ruri and ruor may be encountered. The few fourth and fifth declension place name words would also use the ablative form for locative case. The Latin locative case was only used for the names of cities, small islands and a few other isolated words. The Romans considered all Mediterranean islands to be small except for Sicily, Sardinia, Corsica, Crete, and Cyprus. Britannia was also considered to be a large island. There are a few nouns that use the locative instead of a preposition. Domus becomes domi, rus becomes ruri, humus becomes humi, militia becomes militiary, and focus becomes foci. The first declension locative is by far the most common, because so many Roman place names were first declension, such as Roma, Roman Hibernia, Ireland, etc., and therefore use the form similar to the dative, Roma, at Rome, and Hibernii, at Ireland. A few place names are inherently plural, even though they are a single city, i.e., Athene, Athens or Cumae, Cuma, etc. These plural names also use the form similar to the dative, Athenish, at Athens, and Cumus, at Cumae. There are a number of second declension names that would have locatives as well. It is impossible for the locative to express being located at. Multiple locations, plural forms only exist because certain proper names such as Athene happen to be plural. He is at home, can be expressed by, is domi est, using the locative, but, they are at their homes, cannot be expressed by the locative. Greek in ancient Greek, the locative merged with the Proto-Indo-European dative, so that, the Greek dative represents the Proto-Indo-European dative, instrumental, and locative. The dative with the preposition new n, in, and the dative of time are examples of locative datives. Some early texts, in particular Homer, retain the locative in some words. Germanic languages The locative case had merged with the dative in early Germanic times and was no longer distinct in Proto-Germanic or in any of its descendants. The dative did, however, contrast with the accusative case, which was used to indicate motion toward a place. This difference in meaning between dative and accusative is present in all of the old Germanic languages and survives in all Germanic languages that retain the distinction between the two cases. 
Slavic languages Among Slavic languages, the ending depends on whether the word is a noun or an adjective. Czech The Czech language uses the locative case to denote location, but as in the Russian language, the locative case may be used after certain prepositions with meanings other than location. Cases other than the locative may be used to denote location in Czech as well. The locative case is the only one of the seven Czech cases which cannot be used without a preposition. It is used with these prepositions, v. Using this preposition with the accusative case has a different meaning and is regarded as archaic, na. The use of this preposition with the accusative case has a different meaning. Po. This preposition takes the accusative case in some meanings. Pre. O. The locative form of substantives in the singular is mostly identical with the dative case. The locative form in the plural typically has the ending ch. See Czech declension for declension patterns for all Czech grammatical cases, including the locative. Polish There are several different locative endings in Polish, i.e. used for singular nouns of all genders, e.g. nibo nibi. In a few cases, the softening indicated by a has led to consonant alternations. Brat brace e zece no gonods a roa roa is a piaklo piakel. For a complete list, see Polish hard and soft consonants. U used for some masculine singular nouns, e.g. sinsinu, dom domu, bok boku, brazuch brazuchu, dwork worku asterisk, nastroj nastroju asterisk, des zzz dushchu, miss miss you, con con you. Poznan Poznanu, Rork Law Rork Lauru, Bitem Bitemiu Asterisk 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 In a few cases, a vowel change may occur, e.g., OO, or a vowel may be dropped. Asterisk Asterisk Final consonants in Rork Law and Bitem used to be soft, which is still reflected in suffixed forms. Hence I, all new to singular nouns ending in E, e.g., maze may skew, zice zice you some new to singular nouns ending in O, e.g., maleko maleku, losko losku, u-c-h-o at you, I used for feminine nouns ending in Iowa, e.g., kasha o kasi, Austria w Austriae feminine nouns ending in sc, e.g., milisko milosi, im, ym used for masculine and neuter singular adjectives, e.g., polski jezik w polskim jeziku, e.j. used for feminine singular adjectives, e.g., does a kruaro do a krawi. In plural, ak used for plural nouns of all genders, e.g., kabiotio kobietic, ik ych used for plural adjectives of all genders, e.g., male sklopi w malich sklopach. Russian In the Russian language, the locative case has largely lost its use as an independent case and became the prepositional case which is used only after a preposition. The latter is not always used to indicate location, while other cases may also be used to specify location. Statements such as, V biblioteca or, Nar aliaska, demonstrate the use of the prepositional case to indicate location. However, this case is also used after the preposition, as in, O studenta. Nevertheless, approximately 150 masculine nouns retain a distinct form for the locative case, used only after, and. These forms end in, or, les it v sneg you, but, doom it o snega. Other examples are, re, dym, and, v dime you. As indicated by the accent marks, the stress is always on the last syllable, which is unlike the dative case forms with the same spelling. A few feminine nouns that end with the soft sign, such as an, also have a locative form that differs from the prepositional in that the stress shifts to the final syllable, nadi very, but, pre dv i. These distinct forms are sometimes referenced as, second locative, or, new locative, because they developed independently from the true locative case which existed in the Old Russian. With some words, such as dom, the second locative form is used only in certain idiomatic expressions. 
while the prepositional is used elsewhere. For example, nado mu would be used to describe activity that is performed at home, while would be used to specify the location of the roof. Slovak The Slovak language uses the locative case to denote location, but as in the Russian language, the locative case may be used after certain prepositions with meanings other than location. Cases other than the locative may be used to denote location in Slovak as well. There are several different locative endings in Slovak. E used for singular nouns of all genders, e.g. stol stol, laska laska, mesto mesta. U used for masculine inanimate singular nouns ending in a vela consonant, e.g. lenik leniku, mozog mozgu, bok boku, vz dutch vz dutch u, or a glottal consonant, e.g. h l o h lo u. All new to singular nouns ending in kv, chv, iv, uv. E.g. Jabalko Jabalku, Uchochu, Akvarium Akvariu, Vacuum Vacu, are used for masculine inanimate nouns ending in a soft consonant, e.g. Ovladiko Ovladesi, Trn Trn I feminine nouns ending in a soft consonant or a soft consonant followed by a, e.g. Vona Ovoni, Costo Costi feminine nouns ending in Iowa or each, e.g. Maria Marii, Andrea Andre Newton nouns ending in E or I, e.g. Srdc Srdci. I used for neuter nouns ending in IE, e.g. vice ved seni vice ved seni. OV used for masculine animate nouns, e.g. clap clap OV, HRD nor HRD OV. OM used for masculine and neuter singular or adjectives. Penny, penne penom. EJ used for feminine singular adjectives and feminine nouns ending in a. Pekna gazdina peknich gazdanage. M used for masculine animate nouns following the Cooley pattern, e.g. Harry Harim. Ok used for masculine nouns in plural, e.g. Mali klapi malich klapich. Ak used for plural feminine and neuter nouns, e.g. Zeni o zenash. There are variations. Ak used when the preceding vowel is long or a diphthong, e.g. Lasky laskich dialo dialach iach used after soft consonants, e.g. Shop nost shop nosti arch, srdc strish ach. Ik ych used for plural adjectives of all genders, e.g. Male obchadi v malich obcho doch, with the variation. Ik ych when the preceding vowel is long. Reichler a u t a o reichli chortark. See also Slovak declension for declension patterns for all Slovak grammatical cases, including locative. Armenian in the Armenian language non-animate nouns take for the locative. Animate nouns do not take the locative. Turkic languages. Some Turkic languages have a locative. Turkish The locative case exists in Turkish as the suffix generally specified by da. For instance, in Turkish okul means the school, and okulda means in the school. The morpheme may exist in four different forms, depending on the preceding consonant and vowel. The first phoneme of the locative d changes according to the previous consonant. It is t after voiceless consonants, but d elsewhere. The vowel changes depending on the phonetic characteristics of the previous vowel. It is a after a preceding back vowel and e after a preceding front vowel, congruent with the vowel harmony of the language. This gives four different versions of the morpheme. Ta, as in, kitapta, in the book. Te, as in, kenta, in the city. Da, as in, odada, in the room. De, as in, evde, in the house. Kazakh, the locative case also exists in Kazakh. Similar to Turkish, Kazakh employs a system of vowel harmony throughout the language. There are four simple locative case endings, as in, kitapta, in the book, as in, s, in the dictionary, 
as in Kalada in the city, as in Bielmead in the room. Furthermore, Kazakh nouns frequently utilize a possessive affix to indicate a relationship between the object and its owner. When forming the locative case of a noun in the presence of a possessive affix, there are two possible endings as in, airbolding Kalasinda, in Airbold's city, as in, airbolding SCD Kinder, in Airbold's dictionary. Uzbek the locative case exists also in Uzbek. For example, in Uzbek, Shaka means city, and Shakada means in the city. So using the suffix, the locative case is marked. Uralic languages. Proto-Uralic has been reconstructed with a single state or stationary locative case, with the ending asterisk na or asterisk na in accordance with vowel harmony. In many of its descendants, additional locative cases were created by combining these endings with others. Anari Sami in Anari Sami, the locative suffix he street, Kielist in the language, Kedist in the hand. Hungarian in the Hungarian language, nine such cases exist. Yet the name locative case refers to a form used only in a few city, town names along with the inessive case or superessive case. It can also be observed in a few local adverbs and postpositions. It is no longer productive. Examples. Georat, Pekset, Vakot, Karpovart and Karpovart, Vassar Helite. Itt, ot, imit, amot, alat, folot, kozart, mogut, etc. The town, city name suffixes ban, ben are the inessive ones, and the on, n, on are the superessive ones. Finnic languages In the Finnic languages, the original Proto Uralic locative became the s of case, but is still found with a locative meaning in some fossilized expressions such as Finnish kotona, at home. Two new locative cases were created from the old locative, the inessive case referring to internal location, with the reconstructed proto-finic ending asterisk ssa, asterisk ssa, the adhesive case referring to external location, with the reconstructed proto-finic ending asterisk lla, asterisk lla. These endings still survive as such in several Finnic languages including Finnic, but have been reduced to S and L in Estonian and some others. The Finnic languages, like some Indo-European languages, do not normally use the verb to have to show possession. The adhesive case and the verb to be is used instead, so that the combination literally means on, at me is. For example, I have a house in Estonian would be mul on mayor in which mul is in the adhesive case, on is the third singular of to be, and mayor is in nominative, not accusative, so mayor is the subject, on is the verb and mul is the indirect object. This could be translated to English as at me is a house or a house is at me or there is a house at me. Etruscan. The Etruscan language has a locative ending in THI, Velsnaldi, at Velsnana, with reference to Volsanyi. Algonquin languages. Algonquin languages have a locative, Cree in Cree, the locative suffix is IHK, Masaskatoman Masaskwatermink equals in Saskatoon SK Masaskawaterminiska Masaskawaterminiskark equals in Saskatoon SK Minis Minisik equals in Saskatoon SK in UAIMUN in a new AIMUN the locative suffix is T ship who ship at Katshishku Tamat shoit shup kat shish ku tamat shoit shup eat newt shuakar newt shuakar neat nippy nip at u ten or u ten eight. Bibliography. Buck. Carl Darling. Comparative Grammar of Greek in Latin. Chicago, Illinois. The University of Chicago Press.